I'm a math teacher. I am a banana. One of these statements is true, and the other is a lie. I don't have yellow skin, and I'm not a good source of vitamins. So my inductive reasoning says that I'm not a banana. So if I'm not a banana, then I must be a math teacher. The first part's my hypothesis, and the second's my conclusion. My statement was conditional, my if implied my then. If I want the converse, then I will flip both of them. And if then's a conditional, if you flip them, then it's converse. Hopefully if you were confused, it will get better and not get worse. The inverse is negation, if not this, well then not that. And the contrapositive just combines the rest of them, if not that, well then not this. If I'm not a banana, then I must be a math teacher If I negate both of these, then that is my inverse So if I am a banana, then I must not be a math teacher Which makes perfect sense if you think of it A banana for a teacher would be really freaky The last one's contrapositive It's way up flip and you negate It's like the combination of the previous two statements It's the inverse of the converse If I'm not a math teacher, then and I must be a banana I guess it's not true, but what you gonna do? It's just the contrapositive And if then's a conditional If you flip the man, it's converse Hopefully if you were confused It will get better and not get worse The inverse is negation If not this, well then not that And the contrapositive just combines the rest of them If not that, well then not this And if then's a conditional If you flip the man, it's converse if you were confused, it will get better and not get worse The inverse is negation, if not this, well then not that And the contrapositive just combines the rest of them, if not that, well then not this oh.